Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. And uh, welcome to the first Wednesday in February. Uh, the significance of the first Wednesday uh, is important because for the last four and a half years, on the first Wednesday of every month, uh, this very dedicated group of uh, volunteer uh, citizens, leaders, uh, community advocates have been coming together as the Bike Advisory Committee for the City of San Diego. Um, and, and they've done amazing work, and I want to say thank you to all of them and introduce them uh, before we get started. My name is Andy Hanshaw. Uh, I serve and I've had the honor to serve as the chair of the city's uh, first Bike Advisory Committee uh, since 2014. Uh, with me today is Nicole Burgess representing uh, District 2, uh, Nicole Cabritz representing District 1, uh, Josh Clark representing District 3, uh, Kathy Keehan representing District 5, uh, Randy Van Fleck representing District Nine, sorry, <laughs> and Kyle Heskela, uh, former representative of District Three, so uh, mayoral. and mayoral appointee. Sorry. So, thank you uh, all for your time and, and for being here today. And you'll hear from a few of them today. Um, the purpose of our message today is to lend our support for the city's new mobility board and to share our priorities that we have uh, worked with the city on over the last four and a half years, so that our progress can uh, continue for better bicycling all throughout uh, a safe and sustainable San Diego. The Bike Advisory Committee was formed in 2015 to meet and provide input on the city's bicycle master plan and the implementation of the bicycle projects in that plan, policies and programs to improve safety and increase opportunities for more people to ride more often, to work and to move car free in our city. I'm very proud of all that we've accomplished together with the city and you can see it in our streets today. In fact, since 2014, more than 300 miles of new and improved bicycling facilities have been added all throughout the city. As an effective working committee of the, and board, we wish to highlight some of our work uh, that we have done over the last four and a half years, and we will now hear from some of our committee members about uh, some of these things that we've accomplished. Kathy? Sure. Um, my name is Kathy Keehan. I represent District 5 on the Bike Advisory Board. Um, and I just wanted to take a quick minute to say thank you to the staff and, uh, and my fellow board members. I think that it's been a really excellent um, series of, of years for us here at the Bike Advisory Board. I wanted to just touch on one of the really important things that I think we've done, and that's the creation of the bike or the strategic implementation plan for the city of San Diego for the bike plan. Um, it really helped us prioritize making improvements for the safety of bicyclists around the city and it created a lot of other important actions that I think it's very important for the city to take to, to really make the city of San Diego a bicycle friendly community going forward. So I just wanted to mention that we're very proud of that and we want to thank staff for all their help and work in doing that and the council for approving it. Now I'm going to turn it over to Josh. Josh Clark, representing District 3. Here in District 3, and so thrilled to see a separated uh, facility for roadway users and making an improved uh, street condition for all users. It's really exciting to, like Kathy say, move from a bicycle master plan, which is citywide, to look at focused neighborhood level community plan updates. And the downtown mobility plan is a perfect example of that, where we go, we make improvements from a 2013 bicycle master plan to bring state-of-the-art facilities. Uh, this class four separated bikeway was first recognized by Caltrans in 2015. So it's really thrilling that the city is being able to do neighborhood level plan updates and see really progressive infrastructure, which brings us in to uh, having equivalent infrastructure to peer cities and make San Diego a 21st century city. So it's, it's, a, it's a real honor that this happened in District 3 and uh, I'm thrilled for future community plan updates and a mobility board that can continue to focus on making those community plan updates reflect state of the practice facilities like we see here. Uh, I'm gonna send it over to Randy Van Vleck. Hi, Randy. All right, thank you, Josh, appreciate that. And thank you, uh, my fellow board members, uh, former board members now, and, and everyone for being here. Uh, my name is Randy Torres Van Vleck with the City Heights Community Development Corporation. I represent the Council District 9 seat on the Bike Advisory Board. I'm really proud to be here with, with my former members. Throughout the past four years, as Andy pointed out, we've worked together to make our city a better place to bike. And we've done that by working closely with city staff and our city's policy makers. As part of the strategic implementation plan, 
and our annual budget request, we called for the prioritization of complete street projects in our underserved communities. That's because traffic violence is not something that's equally felt across our city. Traffic violence is something that's disproportionately felt in our underserved communities. We know this from the city's own research that show that there are 10 times more pedestrian crashes happening in underserved communities than other communities in the city of San Diego. And we know that Vision Zero corridors are in underserved communities. So that's why a strategic implementation plan calls for the prioritization of funding in our underserved communities and calls for a Vision Zero approach to end deadly traffic violence. We also encourage the city through our strategic implementation plan to develop a system of mode share monitoring and tracking. So if we're not tracking our mode share, we don't know where we're at, we're not gonna be able to know how much progress we're making. And we've got ambitious targets through the Climate Action Plan that require us to achieve those targets. And finally, through our strategic implementation plan, we, we recommended that the city be more proactive, and this is before bike share really took off, but we encourage the city to be more proactive about dockless bike share. And we're happy with the results that we've seen. Bike share has been popular in their city, and uh, there's more to come for that. So thank you all for coming, and we look forward to working with the Mobility Board and more work ahead, so thank you. Good morning, my name is Nicole Capritz. I'm with the Climate Action Campaign. I also wanna thank all my fellow board members and the city of San Diego for allowing us to have a strong role in designing and developing our bike master plan. As has already been mentioned, our city has a landmark climate action plan that requires a significant shift and the amount of commuters in San Diego who ride their bike to work. While the downtown mobility plan is a great start, we have a long ways to go. We are not anywhere near where the city of San Diego has promised we would be in terms of the infrastructure and the protected bike lanes that will be necessary to ensure that actually riding your bike, your bike to work is safe and viable. So we are calling on the mayor and the council and all members of the new mobility board to devote their time and attention and in ensuring that the city invests the resources to make sure that we have these separated bike lanes throughout the city because that's what the city promised families in San Diego and that's what it's going to take to actually reach our groundbreaking legally required climate plan goals. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole, and thank you um, to all of our dedicated committee members. Nicole Burgess, Nicole Burgess right now, sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right, I do want to get up and say I'm Nicole Burgess, and I represented District 2 for the Bicycle Advisory Board. I am also president of Bike SD, and as we advocate for San Diego to be a world-class bike-friendly city so that our residents can truly get out and enjoy commuting by bike, traveling by bike, and enjoying their days in this beautiful city. It's been a true pleasure to work with these advocates, dedicated advocates, and city staff. It's been great to work with city staff and collaborate. As Annie mentioned, we have redesigned over 300 miles of streets to create safer conditions for cyclists by implementing cycle tracks, uh, class two bike lanes, class two bike lanes with buffers, which are extremely valuable and they provide the extra space and the comfort. But like Nicole says, there's a long way to go. And we need to hold our mobility board accountable and our city. We are redesigning our streets with every opportunity of our resurfacing projects. We can actually do better. We're missing opportunities and I call on our city to take those advantages of redesigning and repurposing our streets for everybody. And us using the Vision Zero guidelines is gonna make streets safer for all of us. And so with a collaborative effort at the mobility board, I think through our CAP goals and our Vision Zero goals, we really can truly change the way we move people in San Diego. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Nicole. Um, and again, thanks to all these dedicated folks who have been working with us uh, together with all of us uh, for so long. And you can see the passion, you can see the dedication, um, a lot of time spent together. But I think we've made a lot of progress, but we have a long way to go as everyone has said today. And that includes as Nicole said, our, our climate action plan has to be the driving force to reach the mode shift goals that we've set forward in that plan. And bicycling and, and facilities just like this one here um, 
is what's necessary to be connected to do that. Uh, we're also moving forward on, uh, we're also calling for the following priorities with the mobility board to move forward. Uh, things that we've been working on and requesting from the city. Full funding and the build out of the downtown cycle track network, as I've mentioned, the climate action plan, facilitate and, and accelerate the progress of the Sandag regional bikeway projects within the city and eliminate these long delays on implementing uh, approved and funded safety improvements. We have over a $200 million bike plan in the region, in addition to what's happening here locally, uh, that has to be built out. Uh, that's got to be a priority and seeing how we can overcome any of the obstacles that's stopping some of those from being built. Um, and finally, let's continue our effective resurface, repurpose plan where we're changing our streets that are currently very, very wide and adding bike lanes wherever we can in accordance with the bike master plan. It's been very effective. So, the face of mobility and transportation choices is changing rapidly and we now must work even faster to build out our network of connected and separated bikeways to accommodate all of these options. We look forward to the work of the new mobility board and supporting however we can to continue all the great progress we are making for bicycling here in San Diego. And with that, I want to say thank you for being here. Um, we have uh, a lot of jump bikes here for uh, you folks to actually get on uh, some of our dockless mobility choices here and try our brand new cycle track uh, that was just put in here about a month ago. So we're going to take a, we're going to take a group ride, but we invite all of you to join us. Uh, and experience it for yourself because there's no way to do that, uh, no, no better way to do that than on the, on the saddle. So thank you. If anybody, um, we'll all be available for questions if you have any for us um, after this. So thanks so much. Thank you, Andy. Let's do one picture. Yes.